Hello, I'm Fry, and this is the Algorithmic Cookbook. Today we are going to be playing the Human Resource Machine. I've had this game for a number of years now, and while I did make a playthrough of it at one point, I lost the video, so I just decided it would be a good time to look into it again. Especially so that I can try and analyze it at some point, you know, make a video essay. So, I don't want to spend too long making an intro, so let's start playing. Yes, please select your employee ID. So, yeah. Have your photo here somewhere, which one's yours? Nah, this guy looks good. Yeah, that photo looks just like you. You're right. Here's your badge. Please proceed to the elevator. And here we are. So, we're going to start off in the mail room, level 1. Mail room year one. Welcome you to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. So, what we need to do is we need to drag commands into this area on the right here to build a program. So, your program should tell the worker to grab each thing from the input and drop it into the output. So it's just the input and output and we can run it whenever. So uh, let me just get all of this right here. Output and input and output. So that's our program. So we can start running it and we can like step between if we want to. Or let me just speed things up and that was a success. And now we get to go on to the next floor. So wow, we spent a whole year doing that. Looks for you. So now we have a busy mail room. Well, looks like you've made it this far. Congrats on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. What a job, huh? Here's a new assignment. So we're going to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. Now we have a jump command, which lets us repeat certain codes. So instead of having to do inbox, outbox, inbox, outbox constantly, we can just have a jump statement and put it up there and it will just keep looping in. So let's max speed and let's do it. And that's a success. Presence is required on the next floor. Alright, so now we're on the copy for uh, floor in year three. Oh no, the inbox conveyor system is completely broken. That doesn't mean we get to take a break from work, so we can just ignore the inbox and outbox now. And we have a new command copy from which lets us copy information from the working space in the middle. So we need to copy and make the words bug, which is on 4, 0, and 3. So let's go to copy from 4, copy from 3. Uh, well, that's the wrong order, so let me just put copy from 0. So let's do outbox and outbox and outbox and that should work and the words part goes up using the cup of command now we can go on to the next row which is the scrambler hand so the system is now fixed and just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. So grab the first two things and then put them in reverse order. And then we need to repeat this until everything is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
obviously we need to get our inbox first. And copy it to zero. Go to our inbox. We copy it to one. Then we copy from one and we send it to the outbox. Okay. No, 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 that's not even necessary. to send that straight to the outbox to the outbox right and then we copy from zero and then we go to the outbox and we're gonna jump through and that should work let's see so we put that there now out and We did it. So now we can move on. And it's coffee time. Mm, it's a cutscene. Some tea drink coffee. Mm. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> Failure, how did the TV work? Regents of the city. Dumbass. 3,000 sins. For you. Okay, I'm not citizens. You tried to parody them. Welcome to my personal rain club. I was never very good at math, since I only have three fingers on each hand. Does that really correlate to math ability? I mean, three fingers, I think you can make, like, I don't know. You can't up to eight, so that's like 16. Well, you have about 15 or 16 numbers you can count on those. Alright, editing for right back here, and if you're trying to be snarky, at least be good at it. Okay, the guy said he has three fingers, right? And I think you're trying to refer to finger binary, and you said that he'll be able to count to 16. Well, that's wrong. It'll actually be 64, since 2 to the power of 6 is 64. I was planning on counting it here, but that would just be a waste of time. So let's get back to the game. Oh yeah, next time you try to be snarky about me being snarky, at least have properly exposed video. Jeez, this is a waste of time. Time to get back to editing. And... But... You don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. So, uh, what we need to do is, for each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the results in the outbox. Now we have a new command, which is add. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. So, let's go to the inbox. I'm going to copy it to zero. Then going back into the inbox. Then we're going to add zero. And we're going to go to the outbox. Repeat, and that should be good. So let's add home. So let's add them together, and pull. Fast the next floor. Um, I think I will just fork left here in the tripler room. 
So this area is optional for high performing employees. Um, is that me? Um, I think so. Well, you're late. Oh, didn't know there was a time I had to be here, man. Seven years late. Well, I don't know why I'm still high, but anyway. You need to make some changes in that I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. So for each thing in the inbox, triplet and outbox the result. So self-improvement. Where are we going with this? Please leave high-level decisions <laughs> to management. Supposed to be critiquing something, I just don't know. So, copy two, and then this probably won't work. And zero, and that's it. So, that's it. So now we know what we're doing this outbox. Not much there. I think at some point I have far more instructions than I used to. So what we're doing is we're just putting in the first thing, then we're gonna add it once, twice, and that's triple. Then we do that for everything else. So this is faster. There we go. I don't know if it's possible to do anything faster than that. And the speed is just 24 steps on average. So this might go into bigger, but I don't know. Does such a thing exist for like an assembly type thing that this game has? I don't think so. But it mentions that you can sometimes only have size or speed and not both of them at the same time, which kind of makes sense. I mean, sure, you might need more space to do something, but it's at least faster. So, let's move on from the triple to the octopi suite. Yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignment's optimization challenges. The two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? Yeah, I uh, can't think of anything, would you? So for each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 8 and put the result in the outbox. Alright, so... Uh, I remember doing this and being so chuffed with myself that I figured it out, so I'm gonna go inbox, copy to zero, and then we're going to add the thing at zero, so that doubles it, then we're gonna copy our result back to zero, and then we're going to double it. And then, uh, one more time, let's copy two, and we're going to add. So, seven times eight, is 40, times eight. no, it's 54, mm, no, 56. So we should get 56, and it says the challenge is, can we do it with just three add commands? And I figured it out. So 7, 14, 28, 56. There we go. So, I wish I, like, 
like do the thing where I like slide across and like show you how I work things out. I think I'll do that for future ones. So let's do that. So three. So that'll be six. Tetracontiplier. All your work over the past few years culminates in a well executed assignment. So, multiplied by 40. <sighs> okay. Now, this time I remember very carefully that. You have different bases to work. I think I'm just going to open up a note and see how we can try this out. So just give me a moment. All right. So what we're supposed to do is multiply something by 40. Now multiplication is multiple addition. So x plus x plus x dot 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 until you get 40x right so if you know in the previous one we were able to get away with three additions because what we're doing to get it is x plus x is equal to 2x and then we stored it into s0 and then we add it to the 2x we're holding and then we get 4x which we store to S0 and we add it and then what we get is the 8x right which is what we returned now this 40 I think practically any number can be expressed in powers of 2 so this is going to be like 32x plus 8x and then that's 40x right so we'll need to add it by the 32 times something plus the 8 times of something so we already have the 8 times what we can do now is that we can store this s0 for something else then what we're going to do is we're going to add it to itself again. So we have 16x. And then we're going to store this into S1 now. And then we add it to itself. And then we have the 32x, which we're going to add to S0, which is 8x. And then we should get 40x. So, let's do that. So, sorry for the breaking music. So, we're going to inbox, copy to zero, add zero, and then copy to zero, add zero, copy to zero, add zero, Okay, then we're going to copy to zero again, add zero, now we copy to one, and then we're going to add one. So uh, let's see what that gets us so far. So, two. 4, 8, 16, 32, and then what we need to do now, that will break of course, <laughs> but we're on the right track. So we're going to add it to whatever it's at 0, and then 
take it to the app box. I'm going to jump and do this all over again. So, max speed. And we did it. Exactly 56 steps. Not bad. I'll leave it here. It's too long. I'll pick up from here. Thanks for watching. Support me in the links below. Okay, thanks. Bye.